install GNU compiler. How to install it from which URL, web URL you are supposed to install that one, I will be discussing in this session. So, to install GCC at Windows, you need to install MinGW. To install MinGW, go to the MinGW home page, the URL is given to us and follow the link and load the respective, download the respective software on your system. While installing MinGW at a minimum, you must install at least the core one, the GCC G++ that very respective package and this bin utils, this package is required and the min GW routine, but you may have to wish to for other more packages. So, so many packages are there, you are supposed to select it through the check boxes that you are supposed to install these packages on your system. Add the bin subdirectory of your uh, min GW installation to your path environment variable so that you can specify these tools on the command line by their simple names. So, that means you should have to go to the control panel and then systems and then environment variable. You will be getting one system variable that is a path. At the end of the path, give in case of Windows environment, at the end of the path, give the semicolon and give the path of your installation up to the bin folder. So, that path you should have to copy and then it has to be paste in the pre-existing path against the path variable that is the system variable and separated by semicolon. So, that you can use this G++ compiler from other places from the other paths as well. When the installation is complete, you will be able to run GCC or G++, AR, run lib, DLL tool and several other GNU tools from Windows command line irrespective of the path from where you are issuing them. So, this is the mingw.org, this is a web page they are having and from here you are supposed to access your resources and you can read the official documents from this official site. And when you will when you'll be installing that installation setup file, then this window will come and here you are supposed to select those required packages which you will be requiring uh, for, for your program execution, for the program compilation and so on. So, here you will be selecting the respective packages and in this way the insertion will proceed and this is a screenshot of that installation. And if you are using your Mac, so if you are using the Mac OS, the, early, the easiest and the earliest way to obtain GCC is to download the Xcode development environment from Apple's website and follow the simple installation instructions and guidelines. So, this is a, this is a respective URL has been provided here. So, can you can easily understand that how to download it for the Apple Mac systems. If you are using Linux or Unix, then check whether GCC is installed on your system or not. And here in this way, you can call it that is G, G++ minus V. We know that in case of Unix environment, the minus will be denoting that you are op putting some options with the respective command. If you have installed GCC, then it should print a message like this one. That means you are you are trying to show the G++ version here. So, this message will be shown. If GCC is not installed, then obviously this message will remain unavailable and you can again use this particular URL for its installation. So, in this way, in this session, we have discussed that how to install, download and install your C++ compiler on your system so that you can write your code and compile it and you can execute it as well. Thanks for watching this video.